I don't. I don't need a skinhead. He's in Paris. Can you? You fucking red cunt. Um. Hi. How's it going? <laughs> yeah. Um. I'm. I'm a little bit, you know, less energetic. I'm in the morning, so. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I really, I don't always think that it's a good idea to have the first video of the day be 25 minutes long and expect me to be fucking goofy about shit. Um, but yeah, um, I think the first video of the day, I, I think that's what we should do. First video of the day, we actually talk about something, and then the second video of the day, or you know, second and third video of the day, we just do whatever, instead of... You know, the first video being about nothing, the second video being about something, and then the third video being about nothing. Mm. So, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You gotta change up your schedule. You know what I'm saying? And especially if you're active, um, and especially if you, you know, people come and see you. Um, holy fuck. Um, so, yeah. So, um, okay, what the fuck is that? Um, oh, yeah, so, yeah, Dr. Anthony Fauci, right, um, I, I, I've, I've mentioned him quite a few times, um, because I fucking praise that man, he is, he's awesome, um, he, like, there's a lot of times where, like, he says shit that I literally have been thinking, like, the whole entire time, like, you know, like, with all these states completely reopening, it's like, you do realize that this is going to start something that is going to be like almost impossible to control, right? And then um, he literally went on the news and, uh, what the fuck, um, he, he literally went on the news um, and talked about it. He was just like, like, if you reopen too soon and if you do it too early, you may trigger an outbreak that you might not be able to control. You know what I'm saying? So, like, so, something along those lines. So, is there even going to be a second wave? I highly doubt there's even going to be a second wave of COVID. Um, because we're, we're not even, we're not even through the first one. Um, and, like, you know, like, a lot of people go ahead and doubt that, you know, there's, that we're still going to be in this wave. Um, by the time the fall comes around, and they're saying that there's going to be a second wave in fall, um, you know, which is complete horseshit. Um, I don't really believe it. I, I, I still think that, like, there's going to be COVID, um, but, like, we're still going to be in this. You know what I'm saying? We're still going to be in this wave. But it's just the thing is, it's probably going to be a lot easier to control. You know what I'm saying? And, and it's going to be a very different response. So, yeah, we basically have, like, you know, like, you know, three, four, maybe five months to prepare for another big outbreak, um, which, which should be a decent amount of time. I'm not saying it's, it's, it's a great, fantastic, you know, like a year or two prepare, uh, preparation, but it's a hell of a lot better than, you know, like a month or two, um, you know, and actually, you know, with, with this whole bullshit, um, you know, and they were also talking about how like there's such a, sh a small, there's such a huge shortage of masks that they actually, um, that there are a lot of hospitals out there where doctors have to reuse old masks, right? Yeah, sounds great. It sounds great, right? Um, and you know, I, I get that there's people out there that are just like, you know, well, you know, it's their job, you know what I'm saying? Like nobody should be giving them extra praise, you know? And, and like in some ways I get that because yeah, it is their job, but it's kind of easy for people to start throwing out those, you know, remarks. Um, because you know, we're not the ones that have to deal with being in that workplace. But they're the ones that are putting their lives on the line for us. You get what I'm saying? Uh, same thing with, you know, EMT. Same thing with police officers, firefighters. Everybody else. Every, everybody that has to deal with, like, the worst 
scenarios in society, right? That everybody that has to deal with like the worst people and the worst situations that, you know, nobody else is either trained or getting paid to, you know, get involved in, right? Um, you know, but, uh, you know, just basic, you know, just shit like that. Um, you know, you go ahead, disagree with me if you want. Um, so, um, you know, anyway, um, so yeah, do I think that there's going to be a second wave? Um, I do, but I don't think it's going to be in the fall. I don't, I don't, we need to stop looking into the future. Like we have some sort of crystal ball, right? And, you know, we need to get out of this mindset where we know what's going to happen, even though we don't, right? Because there are some people that are like so stuck on, you know, what they think is going to happen. And people are so like, you know, 100% sure on what they think is going to happen. Because I find this happening a lot, right? Whenever, whenever there's a video about like, you know, like, um, you know, like a, a, there's like a, a, either a documentary or a certain video on a certain topic, right? Everybody seems to gravitate towards that and they begin to act like a certain kind of, you know, professional or they act, they tend to act like they have like a fucking PhD in that specific topic or in that specific field or whatever. So like if there's a um, documentary about the brain, everybody in the comments acts like a bunch of little baby fucking neurologists. Um, if there's a documentary about, because... And with what's been going on the past few months, right? Like, when the COVID case broke out, everybody was acting like a bunch of fucking doctors and ophthalmologists. And then, you know, once, you know, George Floyd got killed and all these protests started happening, everybody started acting like a bunch of fucking, you know, civil rights lawyers, right? So everybody acts like they fucking know everything. And it pisses me off. Um, like, I get it that, like, you're super involved in something and you want to learn more about it and you're super passionate for it, but at the same fucking time, like, if you are not qualified to, <laughs> and, like, if you don't know certain shit, like, quit acting like you do, right? Like, saying that you know this or you know that. Like, saying something is one thing, but actually proving that you know about a certain topic is another, right? Um, you know, that, that, that's why I'm not really one for talking all that much. Um, and if I am going to talk about something, that it's going to be something along the lines of, like, you know, not really fully, you know, saying that I'm going to do something, but, like, hinting, like, you know, <clears throat> like, hinting that I'm going to do something. Like, instead of somebody being like, hey, you, you know can you like go in the store, get me some chips? I'm like, yeah, man, I'll get you some chips. Like I, I would come back at them with the phrase of, or, you know, the, um, the question of like, you know, what chips do you want? And you know, they tell me, uh, Lay's. I'm like, okay. So yeah, that's an example. So, um, so anyway, Jesus Christ, eight fucking minutes. <laughs> I, I keep looking at eight minutes, I'm thinking like I only have like two or three minutes before I have to end, to end the fucking video. But after yesterday, no more of that shit. Nope. Mm-mm. Nope. Um, yeah, we could, we could literally be going on all fucking day long with this shit. So, yeah, anyway. Um, what the fuck was I talking about? Oh, yeah. So, yeah, Dr. Anthony Fauci, he basically said... That, like, I don't really think there's going to be a second wave. Um, I haven't really, re like, because, like, I haven't really read a whole lot into it. Um, but, like, you know, he definitely said something, like, something along the lines of, like, um, like, this whole big spike is, like, you know, super disturbing. Um, and that's another thing, is, like, people, whenever the, people do a certain thing, and when shit starts going wrong for people... Everybody acts so fucking surprised whenever it happens. It's it's like these states deciding to reopen completely without like putting any kind of restrictions. Like, you know, yeah, you could go out, you just got to wear a mask or you know, masks are, you know, you know, masks are, you know, a temporary solution right now. You got to keep them on. Um, you know, they're, you know, kind of in place right now. Um, you know, with with, um, you know, rises in COVID cases, um, and people acting so fucking surprised, um, I really don't know why people are acting so surprised, 
Um, I saw this coming a mile away. I honestly did. And, and like, it, it, it just, like, annoys the fuck out of me that people are now starting to be like, I didn't know. Like, <laughs> like, back in, like, April, right? Like, Georgia and, like, you know, Florida were starting to open up, like, completely. Like, with no phased reopening, no restrictions, completely reopening up, right? Like, you know, all social and business restrictions, like, lifted, basically going back to the way that things were before this whole outbreak, right? So, um, you know, like, fucking, like, I, 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 I don't understand. I really fucking don't. I, I do not understand how people can, you know, what, what's, what, what's a way that I could word this? I don't understand how people can go ahead and do one thing, but whenever something bad happens to, you know, a, a big majority of people, whenever people do a certain thing, everybody acts so fucking surprised. It's like, you know, yeah, everybody, you know, everybody's out and about, you know, and, you know, they're out just, you know, just doing their typical shit that they would normally do um, without a pandemic going on. And, you know, that, you know, that's totally not a breeding ground for diseases, right? You know what I'm saying? Especially when they're, you know, at a pandemic level like this. Um, and, you know, people are just like, you know, I don't fucking understand. Like, and, and that's the thing. It's like all of these people that are, that like have gotten COVID and are, have shown up on the news and when people claim that they're fucking healthy, apparently they're not, right? Half of these people that have gotten COVID that have shown up on the news literally look like they've been fucking smoking crack for the last 20 fucking years. These people do not look like, the, and like these guys look like they've been doing nothing but like, you know, sitting on their couch watching fucking soap operas. And, you know, just sitting back and fucking downing Pepsis left and fucking right for the past 20 fucking years, right? Like, these people do not look... These people are, like, the complete definition of fucking lazy. These people are, like, the complete opposite... Like, th these people are like, on the complete opposite spectrums of healthy, right? Like, you look at them and you just go, like... Like, I thought this dude was, like, literally, like, morbidly fucking obese when I first fucking saw him. Because... Saw him, her, whatever. Um, you know, like, like, that's the thing. It's like, if you have a regularly working immune system, and if you have a normal working immune system, or if you're above that, um, you know, if you're somebody active like me, and, you know, you eat healthier, right, than, you know, an average person, you should be fine. You got what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you might have a few symptoms here and there, but, like, as long as you are not living with somebody who is super susceptible, already has a pre-existing condition, and if you, you know, don't, you know, it, it, as long as, like, you are, like, you know, with these, like, three or four different things, um, if you kind of follow in that criteria, you should be fine. You get what I'm saying? Now, the thing, now, there's reason for me to be concerned because my brother's a type 1 diabetic and my mom has a minor form of asthma, right? Okay, so there's some reason to be concerned there, right? Uh, I don't know if my, like, me or my family have gotten it or not uh, because a few months back, uh, me and my family, or not me, but like, you know, my mom and dad got sick, like, with a cold um, and, like, they were, like, um, they had, they had, the symptoms going on, like they had a cough, they had a sore throat, um, and I think they even, like, talked about how, um, oh, what the fuck's another one, I, I think one of them almost had, like, a fever or some shit, like, this one day, um, so those are some of the common symptoms of COVID, um, and this was before, like, it became, like, a huge outbreak across the U.S., right, like, this was before all of the toilet paper bullshit, um, you know, that this was before everybody was, like, buying out shelves at the pharmaceutical aisles of, like, you know, Tylenol and Mucinex and all this other bullshit. Um, you know, th this was way, but this, this, was, this was, like, a month or two before any of that shit happened, right? Um, so, and, like, you know, they got sick, and my mom, like, a, f a couple weeks back was just like, I bet that, that, that we ended up getting it already. But, like, we build up antibodies to it. So, if you have gotten it and have shown, like, and if you've test, and if you get it, if you go to get a test 
and it comes back saying that like you've had COVID, but you build up antibodies to it, you're good. <laughs> you are good, right? So, you know, if you build enough antibodies up, that means that like you can't get infected with it, right? That's what that means. Um, I, I'm, I think, like, I, I like, I don't know if it's you can't get infected with it or you can get infected with it, you just don't show any symptoms, right? And it lasts for a lot shorter of a period of time. I don't know. Do not quote me on that. Um, so, fuck. Um, so, um, yeah. I, like, like, w w like, with people who are super concerned about their health, right? If you living with people who are super susceptible, have a pre-existing pre -existing condition yourself, um, if, you know, um, and, uh, what the fuck else? Um, and if you're like super, if you're super concerned about your health, obviously take those extra safety precautions, right? But, like, if you have already gotten it and have built up, built up antibodies to it, you should be fine. If you're, if you're following under the, you know, the four or five, you know, criteria, right? You know what I'm saying? The four or five points in the criteria. Like, you should be fine. You know what I'm saying? And, and I bet I've gotten it. I bet my family's gotten it. So, and I, I was just talking with my mom last night. Like, I think we should get tested. I think we should get tested. Because, I, I, like, these past few weeks, I've really been considering it. Because I'm curious as fuck. Like, I am really super fucking curious as if, as whether or not I've gotten it or not. Uh, because if that's the case, um, and I've built up, and my body's built up antibodies, then, you know, I should be fine. You know what I'm saying? I should be fine to go out without having to wear a fucking mask, right? Um, so, you know, I should be able to go out and not fucking, you know, and, you know, not have to wear a mask like everybody else, right? Because I, I think that's the reason why some people decide to not wear a mask is because they've already, they've already gotten tested and it's been confirmed that they've gotten infected with it, but they haven't shown any symptoms of it. And, um... You know, their bot, like, their immune systems were strong enough to where, you know, they were able to fucking, you know, knock that bitch out the park and just fucking, like, you know, have it just, you know, leave their bodies. And, you know, like, you know, they, they were good. You know what I'm saying? But, like, then there's the other, you know, side of it where some people just don't believe that this is an actual thing. Like, you know, in more rural areas where there's not a whole lot of cases, if not any. Um, you know, cause like in, in some aspects I can see that it would be kind of hard to believe that there's a pandemic going on, especially when, you know, you live in such, you know, a tiny world like that where, you know, um, you, you um, where, where like, where you, like a living kind of far from society and living f all farther from a lot of other people. Um, and you know, you obviously aren't experiencing that kind of, you know, stress and anxiety because of the fact that there are other people around you. So you think you might get COVID. Um, you know, it, like if you live out in the middle of fucking nowhere and if anybody's watching this, you'll understand what I mean. Like, because you live around nobody else, so you're not you're more than likely never gonna get infected with it if you if it's that if you stay that way. Um, you know, if you don't really go out anywhere. Um you know, it, like in some ways I could see how it would be unbelievable. Um it would be hard to believe for some people, but this is a real thing now, okay? I, I, I don't know how long, you know, this whole, you know, state of emergency in the US bullshit is gonna last. Um, and, and I'm predicting by the end of this year, I'm predicting we're going to reach at least half a million people dead. I'm predicting that shit. I'm predict, I like, if not like, you know, three quarters of a million to like near a million people dead. Right. I'm, I, I'm kind of sticking with that. Okay. Um, like I'm really like, I'm thinking that it's, it's going to be something along those lines. Um, so Yeah. So, holy shit, 20 minutes. Um, so, <laughs> so, <laughs> um, yeah, that's kind of, yeah, I, I was kind of all over the fucking place. I wasn't really, like, I wasn't sticking to a specific topic, uh, but, you know, I, it, it was kind of, it was kind of all in, like, the realm of, you know, 
kind of focused on one area and, you know, a, a bit of, you know, uh, like, you know, a bit of, you know, smaller points that I kind of picked up on um, and kind of showed how that kind of um, shows relevance to the main topic of this. So it was just kind of like, I don't know. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Fuck, fuck. Peace and love. <laughs>